Every time a Nexus device is released, it garners quite a bit of attention, and rightfully so, because when Google releases its own phone once a year, it's a pretty big deal for Android enthusiasts. Now last month, Google released the Nexus 5, which is a f their flagship smartphone, it has a Snapdragon 800 processor and a $349 unlocked price tag, and it's a really, really great smartphone. But what's interesting is to compare it to other high-end Android alternatives, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between it and the HTC One. So let's go ahead and kick this off by talking about hardware. Now it's hard to disagree that HTC set the bar higher than any other manufacturer when it released the HTC One. The solid metal design is crafted with extreme precision and feels just about as good as it looks. On the other end of the spectrum, the Nexus 5 is definitely a plastic phone. While the white model we have here might be a noticeably more plastic with its glossy edges, in either color you won't get the premium feel of the HTC One. There are slight differences in ergonomics as well, with the HTC having large bezels to accommodate capacitive buttons and boom sound speakers, as well as a top-mounted power button that can be difficult to reach. The Nexus 5 fits a larger screen into a nearly identical footprint as the HTC One, and with the side-mounted power and volume keys, can be a little easier to manage in the hand. Now there are advantages to both designs, but I have to give this round to HTC One because it has definitely the most premium feel, I would say, of any other Android smartphone. It's hard to find any meaningful fault in the One's design. Now let's talk about specs. In terms of the spec sheets, these phones are pretty well matched up. Now I've already talked about the screens and the overall sizes, which are very similar, but there are a few key differences at play inside the phones. The HTC One uses a Snapdragon 600 processor, while the later release Nexus 5 is the newer 800, but both are paired with 2GB of RAM and generous storage options. You'll be getting 802.11ac Wi-Fi in both cases, and the HTC One might have been released several months before the Nexus 5, but these are both more than capable devices from an internal specification standpoint. Now the Nexus 5 is the slight edge here, but really either smartphone is fine. Now as far as software, being a Nexus device, the Nexus 5 will always have the advantage of the, having the next Android upgrade before any other phone. Even with the new features in KitKat though, there are very few functional differences right now between it and the Android 4.3 running HTC One. Now I do want to mention that the HTC One will be getting new Android updates as they come out as well, but it will be on a slightly slower timetable than Google's own Nexus devices. Now HTC did also add on a little bit of software onto Android with their Sense 5.5 interface which feels like a consistent and snappy system, and you know, all the work HTC put into it has paid off. Although it might be a little bit annoying for Android enthusiasts to just like the clean Android interface, a lot of people are really going to like HTC Sense design which puts the important stuff right in front of you and leaves the less important stuff a little bit further back. Now as far as the cameras, HTC's move to a large pixel, ultra pixel, 4 megapixel camera may be one of the most boldest moves in smartphone cameras in recent memory. Now although it was trying to break the mold of bigger is better, the HTC One does fall short when it comes to camera. Now in head-to-head -head tests with the Nexus 5, the cameras are pretty comparable to one another, but the Nexus 5 does have the slight edge in low light situations and even overall, so I'm going to have to give the camera round to the Nexus 5. In the end though, it's hard to argue against buying either one of these phones today, even though one is a handful of months older than the other. Across hardware, software specs, and camera quality, the Nexus 5 and HTC One are very comparable, each one edging out just slightly in different categories. If you want some of the best phone hardware, Android or otherwise, out there today, you can't go wrong with either the HTC One or the Nexus 5. In terms of pure value, the Nexus 5 comes out way ahead at $349 unlocked or even at $399 if you want a slight increase in storage. It also offers a refreshed and redesigned software experience with fantastic Google service integration as well as the best camera performance of any Nexus phone to date. Between these two phones, it's a toss-up on which one to get, and it really comes down to which features suit you best. In either case, as I keep on saying, you're going to be getting one of the best Android phones available today. Let me know which one of these phones is your favorite in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!